Well, hello YouTube, FishDad1, Chad H, back with another video. So the 300 is freshly had a water change and gravel back. So let's uh, get a closer look and I'll show you guys how clean it's starting to look. You can see in the sand that almost all the little wood pieces or sawdust is almost all gone. Not too much left, guys. I'm doing a good job cleaning this stuff up. It's starting to look much better. But I also want to show you guys my new piece of driftwood I bought. It starts right there and goes all the way down there. It's probably about five foot, four and a half, something like that. But I did have to put a piece of rock on top of it because it will not float, but it will. Leave that rock on there for about a week and she'll be sinking. But yeah guys, and I got this piece back here. So I went to my LFS today to buy another piece just like that right there. And uh, picked one up, took it up to the cash register and he goes, that'll be $49.99. I'm like, wait a minute. Last week I bought one just like this and it was only $29.99. He goes, yeah, they had the price wrong. So. I scored guys, got that much cheaper than uh, than it was supposed to be. But I did uh, here at the bottom, I took a few, I took, I don't know, maybe a half foot off those uh, limbs right there because it was sitting way too tall. It was like way much taller than that, almost up to the top of the water line. But I got my trusty uh, clippers out that I uh, clipped my, uh, I don't know what you want to call uh, tree limbs outside. And I tell you what, guys, that is the hardest wood I ever tried to, to cut through, man. I thought I was going to break those clippers, but it, it got through it. That is some dense wood right there, guys. Hard as a rock. And I'll show you the pieces that I got off of it. I got a couple good pieces right here, guys. Right there. So a couple good pieces right there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but, man, that wood right there, guys, look at the grip. Let's see if we, uh, you can't really see, but the growth wings are very, very tight, and that is some dense wood, very dense. But 300's looking good, guys. I'm digging it. Oh, see so if you look way back in there, you can see some of that stuff on the uh, still in the sand. But that's all right. It's 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 disappearing pretty good. I think another gravel back next week will. Uh, clean that up. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Yeah, it's not feeding time. Nope, not feeding time. So let's take a closer look at the fish, guys. There's Mr. Tex. He's doing good. Crazy as ever. Likes to bite me. And there's Ladybird. My female red devil. And there's Mr. Red Tail, or Flag Tail. Red Tail. <laughs> Mr. Flag Tail. He's doing great, guys. Hasn't grown very much, but he's doing great. And there's Mr. Pantano. He's doing really awesome. He's growing bigger every day. Bigger, 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 bigger. And my Pleco, he's in his home down there in those rocks. Down in that hole down in there. And there's one of my catfishes right there, if you can see him down there. And I have no idea where the other one's at. No idea. He might be under that rock there that I placed there this morning. But yeah, guys, I just thought I'd share this with you. Tank's looking great. I'm loving it. And Texas is looking stunning today, guys. Look at that finish on him. Just, man, it's crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Good fish. He likes to bite, but he's a good fish, though. Good fish. Oh, he's chasing Mr. Pantano around. Okay guys, so that'll be it for today. I just thought I'd share that with you. Keep these videos a little uh, short so you guys will watch all through it. And uh, have you guys a great day and a great night. I'm out. See ya.